today's video, I'm gonna be going over the five key things you need to do if you want to have any success building muscle. But first of all, who am I? My name is Max Rogers. I own Maxar Coaching, which is a coaching company where I've helped over 450 people lose a whole lot of weight and build a whole lot of muscle. And I'm gonna continue going until it's thousands. Now, boys and girls, this one is near and dear to my heart. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time because I royally screwed this up for years. The keys to building muscle. I'm gonna break it down, okay? The five things that you need to do. So hear me out. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want any questions answered, you'll see my Instagram bio here. Drop me a message and I'll, I'm trying to answer as many questions as I can on here. First things first, right? There are certain lifts in training that will always be important, okay? They're important 50 years ago, they'll be important in 50 years. And that is a heavy press with your legs, okay? Think a squat, okay? Lifting something heavy off the floor, think a deadlift, okay? Or a Romanian deadlift. Doesn't have to be a conventional deadlift, a trap bar deadlift, okay? A horizontal push, think a bench press, incline bench press, dumbbell press, something like that. A horizontal row, think barbell row, penley row, cable row, T-bar row. A vertical pull and an overhead press, right? Think vertical pull, any chin up, pull down, whatever. Overhead press, just standard shoulder press, okay? These are crucial, okay? You have to increase your lifts. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, okay? Pick two movements for a body part and drill them into the ground for multiple years. If you can add 20, 30, 40 kilos to these lifts, you'll be considerably bigger ever. Think for your chest, think incline dumbbell press, okay? Think shoulder press, think pull down or chin up, neutral grip, here. Stay in this position, don't be here pulling down. Don't be here pulling down. This is us, we're neutral. A pull down here or here or just outside here, okay? Some sort of a row, a squat and a deadlift variation. The bulk of your training, doesn't matter if you're a beginner, male, female, Overweight, underweight should be about progressing these lifts, okay? Next thing is calories, okay? So number two is calories. It's not so much that we have to eat in a huge surplus, but we have to be in a small surplus or at least maintenance, okay? If you are, rule of thumb, right? If you're extremely underweight and skinny, you should be eating in a surplus. I think 20% above your maintenance. How long for, 12 weeks? No, 12 months. Okay, probably longer. Think 12 month bulk, if you're really skinny, eight week diet to get super lean like that. If you're really overweight, you can eat in a 20 or 15% deficit and continue to build muscle as opposed to Mr. Skinny Guy over here. Why? Because you have stored energy on your body. You will build muscle, you will lose fat at the same time, okay? If you're very, very skinny and you're eating in a deficit, you are me for five years, you will look the exact same. Next is protein, as you can imagine. Just gonna make this one nice and simple. One gram per pound of body weight. 2.2 grams per kilo, if you're in the UK. That's it. Next thing, another one that I completely neglected is recovery, okay? If you get the buzz and you get bit by the kind of training bug and you love it and you love training. If you're anything like me when I was younger, I was going seven days a week. I loved it. I was training all the time and I was having a post-workout shake and I thought, that's me. Post-workout shake, love training, I'll get huge. No recovery, didn't care about my sleep. A great split is uh, three days on, one day off, or two days on, one day off. We do not grow in the gym. We break down muscle in the gym. We grow when we sleep and when we eat enough calories. That's when we grow. Your goal is to grow. Make sure you're taking time off. I do this for a living. I have my own business. I have no boss and I train four days a week. I could train every day. I have a gym downstairs. I do not train every day because I care about my progress. Lastly, so I get passionate about this. Lastly, unfortunately, the one nobody wants to hear is it takes fucking time, guys, to build muscle. It takes time. You can't gain muscle in 12 weeks. It's very, very minimal. Once you get there, you need to maintain it. You need to solidify it as your weight and then push on again. Gaining phases, in my opinion, should be eight to nine months and the fat loss phase should be two to three months maximum. You wanna build real muscle, you need to lift real weights, eat in a real surplus, recover really well and train for a long time. It took me years and years and years for people to even take me seriously. Anyway, 
If you like this video, subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and I'll keep pumping three of them out per week.